Just to keep that thing bang red line. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7 in that beautiful vintage BMW race car. And we're here today to see if it will drift. Can we get it to drift? We're just going on modifying it right now. So let's see if we can make it drift. 340s in the rear. Holy cow. How is this thing breaking traction? And it doesn't even have a race diff. All right, we're going to modify this a little bit. Just, just, just a tad. I think it's already equipped. It does have race brakes on it. This thing's pretty much laid out. What can we do engine-wise? Oh my god, we can give it more power? No, okay. I think it's, I think it's maxed out at 548 horsepower. Yep. Oh no. 586. Sure. Because we need more power in this car. All right, let's uh, let's mess with the tuning a little bit. Just a quick mild screw around tune. This thing is set super soft already. Change our braking pressure to basically tandem brakes, and we don't need. To change that diff, I don't think. We're gonna try it. Maple Valley? Why not? Try and get this thing sideways. Oof. And that is crazy. Maple Valley. Maple Valley Raceway, full circuit. BMW race car or should I say drift car 1975 BMW number 25 BMW Motorsports 3.0 CSL 625 horse no uh okay let's see what happens let's see if this thing can get sideways well I know it can get sideways let's see if we can keep it sideways with these wide 350s in the rear Try it in third person first. Oh, grippy. Okay, so we need to change the tire pressures the other way. We'll do that real quick. So I forgot it is on race tires. <laughs> or their stock version of tires. I set up tires for a normal car that has street tires so we're gonna bump these up to 35 and 35 and uh let's do it now we'll see what we can do those big beefy tires i know we're gonna be drifting inside the car because it sounds sick Yep, I think that's the money right there. We lost it all. So, it does grab its counter steer really fast. Oh, uh, what? Let's tap. He's going for the wall tap. That was intentional. Intentional wall tap. Not really, but we'll, we'll go with that. That's just so much front grip. But it definitely drifts. Wow. Oh, it drifts for sure. If I paid attention to what I was doing. Is 
But don't touch the grass with it. As soon as you touch the grass, this thing is done. So if you just clutch kick it, you can save it from spinning. Except if you go too far. It won't let you. So can a race car drift? Oh yeah. This thing can definitely drift. And I know we're gonna rip this in car after this turn. Because it sounds sick inside. Alright. So let's see what we can do. Drifting in car. Too much. In the dirt. Save it. 360 for style. I just love the sound of it thing when it hits our max RPMs and just bounces off that red line. Probably one of my favorite sounding cars so far in this game. This car is definitely insane. Ooh. Long knee break grab, there we go. No, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Ugh. We have to try a different track after this. A little faint in. Just clutch kick. A little bit in the grass, but we're good. We were still gaining points until just then. All right, we're gonna switch tracks and uh, see what we can do with this thing at, say, Suzuka? We'll do it in third person. Can a race car drift here at Suzuka? Let's find out. This is gonna be sketchy. Actually not as sketchy as I thought it was gonna be. How that almost worked, I will never know. This thing is just lighting up those 350 tires. I think this may drift better than my cars that I have set tuned for drifting. No, don't lose those points. Oh, well, it's not really here for points. We're just here to see if we can get it to drift, which this little clutch kick and the thing is sideways. Ooh. All right, so now we're gonna try and get a points lap here. Third person, I'll switch to second, per or second person, first person. save those points how did we oh that should be worth points no so we're not really good at staying on the track all the way for points but can a race car drift oh yeah very well actually Surprisingly, with only there we go. 
I'm actually slightly impressed with this. Now we're gonna rip it in first person and see what we can do in this car in first person. See how sideways we can get this thing. Get the entry. Actually, not really sketchy at all. Don't lose the points. I have a better judge of where I'm at in first person. I found out drifting, so. And this thing sounds sick. It has almost like a 2J sound when it's banging off red line. But I know it's not. I know it's a, you know, a 3.0 BMW race motor. Oh. You know I'm definitely going to be taking this to another track. For sure. Get one more lap here. This race car drifts insane. Too much. Saved it though. We're good. I punched my own arm. I was, my hand movements are not anywhere where they should be right now. There we go. I don't care if I lost the points. That was almost a really sick entry. So, this car, probably one of my favorite fast speed drift cars. So I think it's time to take this to, we're going to resume that because we're going to get our credits. We're going to hit restart, but we're going to change track. I'm thinking Prague. Prague is a very good uh, drift track. I like Prague. Throw this thing through its paces at Prague. And uh, see what we can do. Run two last, one third person, one first person. That should give us our level. Thank you. That suit, though. Uh, yup. Sunset suit. Equipped now. Thank you. Yes. That suit looks awesome. What is that one? Oh, the autodrome suit. That looks pretty sweet. Alright. So let's go to... Prague race setup two laps and let's go to Prague It's okay day Prague Yes, except changes So this BMW for sure is 1975 BMW Motorsport 3.0 CSL 625 or no, it's only 500 and... No, no, it's 600. Forza, hello, give me the car. Restriction is 600, so it's only 586 horsepower. And this thing just gets nasty sideways. So to answer my question, will a race car drift? Yeah. Very well. Alright, we're going to rip this two laps here at Prague. And uh, see what we can do. Going to race it in third person first. And then we will go in first person. Because that sounds amazing in first person. Bang and red line. Alright, so here we go.
Oh my, no, don't lose that. That was, that's too good to lose. That was incredible. That was sick. Now let's see how it does going up these uphills. A little bit too much grip on the uphill. Ooh. Clutch kick. Oh, save that. All right, we saved it. We're good. This thing is very forgiving. I think it's because it, of the top, the grippy tires it has, but it's very forgiving when it comes to being able to correct itself and counter steer. Oh, surprise! We made that. Don't lose those points. We're gonna see which way is better. First person or third person. Trying to get as many points as we can. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we lost those points. I thought we lost the car too. That didn't sound good. This car is crazy fun. I got this out of a a pack so we can't even go really wide there so we may do better in first person actually I think it's almost guaranteed unless I horribly screw up but I feel like I'm getting a lot better at drifting in first person than I am third just tap it broke the tail light but we didn't save the points I think it's gonna have a better judgment of angle in first person. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but all right, here we go. Lap two. You can't tell me that just doesn't sound sick. All right, here we go. Last lap was 27,000. Feathering the gas so we don't totally lose it. Need a lot of speed for this uphill. Right on the, the basically guardrail. Just to hear that thing bang red line, that sounds so sick. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, this car is probably my new favorite high speed drift car. Oh, uh, we lost our points. But it's okay, because we're currently already way, way above our last lap. I wish I could put this motor in another car. This thing sounds amazing. My favorite sounding cockpit car so far. Let's tap on those things. Oh yeah, we've already demolished our other laps total. I think I want to try one more track with this thing. Oh man. I'm thinking, uh... One lap at, uh... Some sandy areas? Oh, too much on, too many beans. Too many beans. I can just sit here and bang this thing off red line all day. 
and just enjoy that sound of that nasty race motor. So we're gonna go one race or one drift lap in car. All right. Let's do it. One lap, Dubai, BMW race car. First person, gonna be banging the red line as much as we can. Let's do it. All right, first turn. Last time I was here, I had a thousand horsepower Camaro, so a little bit less horsepower, but I think this sounds so much better. We go a little jump drift. Ah, uh, I didn't correct fast enough. I was more entertained by the fact that I just nailed a very awesome jump drift, but we're going to continue drifting this thing. Tap. Oh, no, save it. Oh, my gosh. So maybe I should have done this one downhill, but. Not too, too bad. I mean, we did a lot better in the, in the Camaro, but of course that was a thousand horsepower and not on rate. Oh no, that was on race tires too. Just once you lose your rhythm in that section, it just, you know, just completely goes to crap. But you know, I'm human, so it happens. Just a wall tap. Hiding that outside wall. Oh, oh, that was so good. <laughs> Bang, red line. This car is so much fun. If you haven't ever tried drifting one of these and I, I would recommend trying it I didn't do much modification to it at all actually it's still got the factory diff and everything in it nothing was really changed did a little tire pressure change and stuff like that but other than that this is pretty much how it comes Jeez, oh man, the angle and the sounds that this car has. Well, that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you like to see and want to see more, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, as well as follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. Until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this, so I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on hand